In this video, you will learn how you can design a website like these and then how to build them and then how to market them. So as you can see, all of these websites were created with AI and I'll be showing you how to implement this in Lovable. So you not have just in Figma, but you can actually have it in Lovable fully editable. You can ask AI to change it, to add a new pages, to add new stuff, and you can build separate pages as well for that and then the most important part i will show you how to take that and how to create posts like these that get 70,000 views that get uh 37k views just by creating stuff like this so just clicking post writing something related with ai so like chat gpt plus gemini plus lovable is insane and then adding a video that i will show you how to make from the design that we will create and this will guarantee bring your clients or bring your customers just like that we can create these beautiful shots mockups that have prob probability of getting a lot of views and going viral so whether you're creating youtube videos or whether you're creating twitter posts this will be very valuable lesson for you to learn so the first step would be actually to create designs like this without using any design skills before we actually and we'll be moving to lovable how to actually build that we'll be starting from the blank screen and i'll show you how to go from the blank screen to a finished website with multiple pages but yeah the first step we'll need to find or create the design ourselves but since we don't want to spend a lot of time on designing from scratch because this is the old era where you had to design something from scratch. Today, there's a lot of templates, a lot of different AI features that you can use, starting from Lovable, finishing up with the Figma community, which will just say hero section. And here we'll have a lot of different hero sections. Go ahead and try to find the one that you like. They have thousands of beautiful stuff like this. You can see in the center here, um, they have stuff like this. I already have that, so I already found one and I already created that in Lovable. So I have these three options and I'll be showing you how you can implement that. And by the way, you can have access to all of these together with all of these landing pages inside of the uh, Design Rocket platform where you'll get access to all of the courses. I'll covering everything from designing to building the subsites. So go ahead and sign up if you want to have access to these. But let's start from building this. So let's start from this one, the first landing page that I will start building. And here, the one interesting part is like this gradient versus glass, liquid glass uh, type of stuff that I will try to build. And let's start from actually building this design first. So I'm making a copy to not mess up in everything. So now I can just delete it. And let's just start from the let's say logo Ipsum. Let's start from the nav bar and it is pretty easy to build. You just have to select it, go to plugins and then manage plugins and I'll type HTML to design or Figma to code is better one. And we're gonna say Tailwind and I'm just gonna copy this going to lovable and I'm gonna say build this nav bar only on this page. So, and let's just paste this code and let's say turn this bad code into a responsive now bar and let's just send that and see what it comes back with. Just like that, a second later, we have beautiful nav bar that is fully optimized for mobile. And let's just keep doing this until we get to the beautiful background. And I'll show you how to implement that as well. So let's for this card, I'm going to just copy this code. Instead of just going to the plugins, I'm gonna click here and that pretty much does the same thing for me. So I'm just gonna copy this code from the same plugin here. It takes a second to load, so let's actually use the plugin itself. Um, Figma to code, Tailwind. And you can see that some elements are not displaying correctly, so we can drop that. Let's just go back to the design and just drop that thing. Say Figma to code. We can move it up a little bit. Figma to code, and then we can do the same thing, just copying this, and then just add this card on the left side. And then under card, have content, have main content. So, and for the main content, I'm just gonna copy this whole thing. I wanna see how it looks on the black background. So it seems like looking everything good. So I'm removing that and clicking that. And let's just paste content. 
And now that we have it, let's just give it a screenshot of how it's going to look. This is how the design should look. And let's just send that. By the way, the process that I'm explaining works in every AI. So whether you're using Figma Make, whether you're using Bolt or any free alternatives, it will work. I'm just using Lovable because this is the one that builds full stack apps. This has cloud, so I can connect it to my apps. I don't have to build backend and any anything like that. It just has everything that I need, so that's why I'm using it. But feel free to use anything you want, and let's just see and wait. Uh, let's just wait and see what it creates. This is the uh, result that we've got. So as you can see, a few differences. The headlines spanning into three lines, but we just need it to be two lines. The same here. It is three lines and we just need it to be on two lines. This is very common AI mistake that it does. So we're gonna just prompt very easily, make the main headline extra bold and make it to be two lines instead of three. The same for, and I'm just gonna copy this and I'm gonna say it should be two lines instead of three. Uh, I assume you need to increase max width or do anything to fix this. And let's just send that. For creating background videos, I'm going to be using the website Kling AI. I'm not sponsored by them. They have a free kind of credit. So I've used that to create a few videos. Here you would wanna go to video tab and then image to video. The first frame is you upload your video. You don't have to, uh, you upload the image that you find on FreePick by typing Wave 3D Abstract. You'll have a lot of this beautiful animation, like for example, this one, and then you can copy the Vibrant Liquid Wavy. You can copy this for a more precise prompt to have it like that. Something like that. Once you find something that you like, download it, go to the subside, add a start frame. And for the prompt, it is very simple as well. Just say, animate this, make it spin a noticeable, make it the spinning noticeable and don't change the position or size and make it loop. Then you can download the video. It will look like this. Also, I've made a couple more options that they that can look like this. And once you did that, go to any website hosting platform. I use uh, Cloudflare. So just upload it there and you'll have access. So I already did that. Let me just get this here. And then I can go to Lovable here. Uh, let's go back to our Lovable site and I'm gonna say, upload this to the hero of uh, background video of hero section. And let's just send that and see what it comes back with. So here we have the video, but if you notice with the design, it is kind of, well, if I get rid of this thing, you will see that the video is flipped vertically and horizontally. So that's what I'm going to say, flip the video horizontally and vertically. And let's just send that. And here we have our beautiful design. Now we will need to actually get this liquid gradient. So for that, this is basically a grid of uh, stuff that I also found on Figma community. You can just say liquid liquid gradient and you'll see this somewhere here, liquid glass, something like that. I have specifically found this thing here. Um, yeah, just go ahead and try to find that thing. Otherwise, let's just get it to lovable as well. So I'm, I'm trying to do the same thing. Just use the plugin here and let's just copy this and say I want to add this as overlay for the video. It will make it look like liquid glass. And let's just send that and see what it comes back with. And actually it did bring from the first prompt. The only thing I wanted to add is uh, if you see it, it is much brighter here. And the reason for that, it is like increased in size compared to the previous one. So I'm going to say increase the we got video to the 140 pixels uh, percentage. Align the focal point to the bottom 
left. So this means that it will just align the video like this and not like this, for example. Maybe lovable works in reverse, but it made the focal point the wrong way. So let's reprompt it. And here we have the final option. And now let me show you how you can actually create this beautiful result that we can post on social medias. So there is two options. One is free that you can use clean shot. Just make a screenshot of this. Use whatever app you have for the screenshot, just like that. Go to shots.com, which again, I'm not sponsored by them, but they do have a free option. If you're going to use just screenshots, click on template, click on image here, choose any image or template that you want, and then just upload this thing here. Go to the backgrounds here and select any background that you think fits well here. I'm going to do zoom a little bit out and I'm also going to change the layout or I want to move it a little bit down. I'm not sure how to do that. Um, Let's do this instead. Go to templates again, image. I never usually work with images because like whenever you want to post something on Twitter, it would be much more like even this, you can do any of it do better. But if you want to have it a lot viral more, so you just wanted to record the video, then I'm going to use a screen studio. So for screen studio, I'm just going to choose area and I'm just going to record it like this and then I'm going to just click record and the main point is just move with your mouse a lot because whenever people on Twitter see a mouse hovering they can know that this is actual website not something like fake you can also click on changing this stuff here and then just screen studio finish the downloading uh, the recording and next the main step would be to actually mention the lovable or whatever app you created if you created this design just mention the design in figma if you created this design with any other tool just mention that because there is a chance that they will repost it especially if the company is smaller and as a result you'll have this video that you can just post on social medias and you can share it with your friends you can choose a different background here um not sponsored or, or affiliated with Screen Studio as well. I don't have any links for that, but like tr just try to click and find a video that you like a few different times. And let's just click maybe energy here, radiant midnight, something like this could work. Go to the beginning to see how it actually looks like. Or the best thing you can do actually is to add an image, which is like I think the best so for the image let's just get rid of this thing get rid of this as well make a duplicate and let's just take a screenshot of this image so it is much similar to the the video itself I'm just gonna do like this and then I'm gonna click here uh, what is this the background image and I can just drag this image here and here we have it. I can just click export it. Let's just export, name it something like 3A. And wait a second to export it. To make it even better, I can put it then to this app, the second app, and I can add one more effect. So let's just drop a few more images. I can Go to mockups here, remove the radius, zoom in as much as I can, make it to be this size, like this. Go to the beginning. And now I basically have this design, but I can now choose the template, which is this, which just has this beautiful background and stuff. But I'm gonna, again, do the same thing, zoom in a little bit because I just need that noise effect here so this one but i'm gonna change it a little bit to be not vicious but tv or instead of this yeah and now i can just download it and paste it on twitter saying like i created this uh, with ai and stuff like that after a few seconds this is the final option that i decided to create again with the app and i can just post it on twitter right now and let's just do that basically so like now it will have this effect. This is the template I've used here. 
But yeah, let's go to Twitter and let's say something AI website generation is getting out of hand. Another landing page designed with Lovable. And let's just paste it here. Projects. Also, if you want to market on a social media, you can create the thumbnail very easily. The thing you need to do is just take the main image that you already took and just increase the size to enormous sizes. And just from this, it will go to some beautiful gradient like this. Just paste the screenshot of the app itself. And then you can upload it to whenever you're uploading your stuff. So just, uh, for example, here we have this beautiful thumbnail of this design here of the design rocket platform. Let's, by the same logic, create this design in Figma and then post it on social media to get a very beautiful result. So yeah, for this, we're going to do the same thing, make a duplicate of this. Once you have it in Figma, you can just get rid of everything here that is done already. And then just let's have this navbar and also do the same with the navbar. Click on the uh, plugins here and then Figma to code. Tailwind, copy, and let's say... Let's go to here and say, add this navbar to this page. Turn this bad code into a responsive nav. And let's just send it and see what it comes back with. Do the same for the main content. Let's just copy this using the plugin. Figment of code. The same logic as we did before. So first we paste the content, main content. Then under main content, we'll have this section. And let's just do the same here. Here is how it's going to look on screenshot. Let's just say that and just make a screenshot of the whole thing here. And let's just paste that. So we'll set that on screenshot and let's just send and see what it comes back with. And here we have the result. So now let's just upload the video to the background. The same, let's go to Cloudflare to the platform where we host all of our videos. I already uploaded it here. So let's just click it, copy that and upload this to the hero section. And let's just upload this this video as the beginning to the hero section. Let's say the hero has to be 100 VH and move the part process process that is under hero into hero as well. Just make sure the borders and the lines between set to opacity of 20 percent and let's just send it and see what it come back with and here it is very beautiful landing page that is optimized for both mobile and desktop in a few seconds i created also a marketing material so we have this beautiful video animation as i mentioned we have the mouse here as well so they're minimalistic and very looking good